in the history of Blicken Valley's... Uh, Welcome to Mastering and Guide Learning Ultrasound and Echo. Hi everyone, multiple choice question 22nd, question 171, the common finding in all kind of the cardiomyopathies is question 172, which of the following is echo pattern of the apical hypertrophy. 173, normal ventricular hypertrophy in highly trained athletes characterized by which of them? Upper normal limit LV volume and diameter, normal ejection fraction, normal LA or all of them. 174 in classic SAM, systolic anterior motion of the mitral valve. Type of the HOCOM, hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy. Mitral regurgitation jet is what? Is the question is in classic. 175, the following M mode pattern is seen in what type of the cardiomyopathy? Dilated, hypertrophic, restricted, and takutsubo. 176, bisphariance pulse is seen in which of them? AR, aortic regurgitation, aortic with AS, aortic regurgitation with aortic stenosis, HOCOM, and all of them. 177, which one can be associated finding an M mode with HOCOM? A, mid-systolic closure of the aortic valve, B, early systolic notching of the aortic valve, mid-systolic notching of the pulmonic valve, and enlargement left ventricular cavity size. 178, the use of color flu imaging in the evaluation of HOCOM is helpful because it can A, indicate peak flow velocity in the aorta, Qualitative, the severity of the mitral valve, systolic, anterior motion, quantitative, the severity of the LVO2 obstruction, and finally indicate the presence of the turbulence and aliasing LVO2. Question 179, diagnostic myocardial techniques for HOCOM or hypertrophic obstructive, not hypertrophy, generally for hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is 11 mm, 13 mm, 15 mm, or non related. In a patient with HOCOM, an abnormal LVOT gradient, which of the following tests is needed? Physical stress echo, pharmacology stress echo, measuring LVOT gradient with Valsava maneuver, and based on the case, any of the above. 181 left ventricular volume in pure hypertrophic cardiomyopathy usually is increased, decreased, normal, or all of them. 182, the pulseway Doppler mitral inflow pattern associated with uh, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy most often is A, abnormal restrictive, B, normal pattern, C, abnormal relaxation, and D, pseudo normalization. 183, in hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, which of the following is criteria for myocardial hypertrophy? A, unexplained maximal wall thickness more than 1.5 cm in any myocardial segment. B, septal to posterior wall thickness ratio more than 1.3 in normotensive patient. C, septal to posterior wall thickness ratio more than 1.5 in hypertensive patients or the any of them 184 in what kind of cardiomyopathy mitral regurgitation is a rule means almost almost 100 uh, you can see in all patients uh, a dilated b hypertrophic c restrictive d all of them which one of the following is not seen in dilated cardiomyopathy a increased left ventricular and diastolic volume b increased EPSS, E point septal separation, D, C, decreased EF, and D, normal LA. 186, which of the following statement is not correct 
in apical balloon in cardiomyopathy. A most common is we can see in women over 40 years old. B, base of the heart, usually work normally, usually. C, there is coronary disease. When we say coronary disease means we have a blockage or pathology problem in major branches. D, apex is dilated. Which of the following statement is characteristic finding in patient with idiopathic dilated cardiomyopathy? A. Asymmetrical septal hypertrophy. B. Dilated poorly contracting left ventricle. C. Hyperdynamic function. And D. Low intracardiac pressure. 187. Which one of the following statement isn't correct about dilated cardiomyopathy? A. All four chambers usually are dilated. B. Systolic function is normal. C. Apical thrombosis may be seen. D. Swirling smoke pattern in color Doppler or even in 2D. Demonstrated a low cardiac output. And E. Almost always there is some degree of diastolic dysfunction. And 188, normal spherical index of left ventricle is more than 0.66, more than 1.5, C, 25 to 45%, and D, 1. 189, what is the most common cause of primary dilated cardiomyopathy? Toxicity from the chemotherapy, B, coronary artery disease, C, hemochromatosis, D, idiopathic. 190, in late stage of dilated cardiomyopathy, the usual Doppler mitral inflow pattern demonstrates A or an A, impaired restrictive pattern, B, impaired relaxation pattern, C, normal pattern, and D, pseudo normalization. 191. Which one is an echocardiogram finding in dilated cardiomyopathy? A. Left atrial thrombosis. B. Dilated ventricular cavities. C. Normal atrial cavities. D. Increased mitral valve leaflet excursion. 192. Most characteristic or characteristic finding in stress induced cardiomyopathy is A. Normal coronary arteries in cat, catheterization, B. Increased uh, cardiac enzyme, C. LV function will be back to normal, and D. Ballooning of the apex. 193. Normal ratio of the RV to the LV basal diameter is A. a less than 0.4, B. Less than 0.5. C less than 0.6 and D less than 1. 194. Positive desynchrony between septum and posterior wall is A 60 millisecond, B 100 millisecond, C 130 millisecond, and D none of them. 195. Which one of the following Doppler pattern may be seen in dilated cardiomyopathy? A electrical alternance. B. Pulsus alternance, C. Pulsus paradoxus, D. Pulsus bisphenance. 196. B bump in mitral valve, M mode indicates A. Increased left atrial pressure, B. Increased left ventricular and diastolic pressure, C. LA or left atrial enlargement, and D. All of them, 197. In left ventricular non compaction cardiomyopathy, a. Usually apex involves B. Compact myocardium becomes thinner. C. Systolic and diastolic can be impaired. And D. All of them. 198. Which of the following uh, cardiomyopathy has worse prognosis? A. Dilated cardiomyopathy. B. Hypertrophic. C. Takotsubo and the apical non-compaction. 199, which one of the following is characteristic or characteristic strain pattern in cardiac amyloidosis? 
and the last one 200 which one of the following is characteristic pattern high intracardial gradient one two three four now let's see for the answer and explanation Recession. that's something to think about Up to the next time, have a beautiful day.